So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's time for the weekly movie hunt. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep doing weekly movie hunts even if I have to do them just online. Because why? Because I will support physical media until my last dying breath. So hey, let's just get into some stores and see if they got anything. Um, if not, I'll at least come back here. I got a couple things I got online. So yeah, we'll still have some fun with physical media. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Hey, we're going to go up into Walmart first. Follow me on social media, though, if you haven't already. Jeffman316. But, yeah, I'm not expecting to find anything. The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. There is no stopping in the red zone. Well, we're not stopping. We're going to go over to the movie rack here. Let's see what they got. The Exorcist Believer's back in stock. I'm not really seeing anything else over here. They still got Survivor Series, though. If anybody didn't get it. Go out to Walmart, see if you can pick it up. Pick it up. They do have the holdovers, uh, $17.96. It's only on DVD. The Wedding Cottage. Oh, yeah, we got to get that for sure. Yep, so not seeing much else here. Yeah. Down in this section, looks like they didn't stock too much. I think this is new here. The Marsh King's Daughter. I don't know anything about that. Does anybody know whether it's any good? I don't know anything about a Marsh King. I know about the Marsh Queen. Yeah, Adrian Barbeau's my Marsh Queen. You guys remember her in Swamp Thing? That's one of my favorite catalog titles of the year. Could it be my most favorite? You'll have to find out as I'm editing my Jeffy Award show right now, and I'll let you know. But, yeah, we don't need no Marsh King's daughter. We got our Marsh Queen. But either way, let's see what else they got in here. Uh, doesn't look like too much. Still got the Strange New World Star Trek. That's actually a good show. You guys give it a chance. The Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. Supposed to be in here. I think a double pack. But I'm thinking people are finding it on DVD. Uh, there's a Blu-ray and a 4K of it. I still might get that Kill Room. Liv Morgan from WWE's in that thing. But uh, I caught this out of the corner of my eye. Look at this cheese over here. All these stupid golden books. Oh, well, this one can't be. Look at that thing. Big shark, little boat. Maybe I'll have to pick that one up. But they got uh, all kinds of new ones that are related to movies and stuff. Bob Ross, Monster Tennis. Look, look at Dwayne Johnson. Look at Barbie, my book of puppies. I don't know about uh, puppies. I don't think The Rock. I was the king of like puppies. The Rock, like what? Now in front of all the Rocks fans, you want to serve the Rock a great big piece of that poontang pie? Yeah, that's what the Rock liked. But look, they got this uh, Happy Day. It's Valentine's Day display here at Walmart. Got peanuts. Well, that's got all the specials on it. <laughs> Thanksgiving and everything. We've got a Barbie 8 movie collection. There's 8 Barbie movies. That's pretty pathetic. Got some trolls. I don't know. What do these have to do with Valentine's Day? I guess in case you want to put a movie in, in with uh, a gift or something. But I don't know how half of these movies are Valentine's Day movies. Elvis, Rock Hudson, Charlie Brown Valentine. At least they got For the Love of Snack, Scooby-Doo. They'll market anything to kids, won't they? Home is where the heart is. At least some of that stuff's. But what does the Wizard of Oz have to do with Valentine's Day? Land Before Time. Like I said, I guess it's just to put uh, movies in with um, kids' Valentine's Day presents and stuff. Or I guess adults too, but oh well. Got some on the side here. Pretty Woman. I could see where that might be a Valentine's Day movie, but either way. I'll check out the $5 bin on the way out. Uh, mind cage you got in here honest thief jackass forever made its way in here bring it on cheer or die fast lane i don't think that's five dollars but look at this south paul on steelbook and it's already open so look i'm giving you a gift here pause this zoom in on it can you get that 
it was somebody walking by so if you could read that get the code if not i apologize but thought that'd be funny x is definitely worth five bucks and happy feet one and two and ted and ted two are you guys uh, gonna watch that ted tv show the prequel show i think it's gonna be on peacock but either way, look, I was on buy me a new pillow on the way out the door. And look, somebody left this. This video is sponsored by Breast Milk Storage Bags. Get them while you can at Walmart. So we're going to go into Target next. Not expect looking to find anything in here. The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. There is no stopping in the red zone. Get it, Red Zone, Target. I cracked myself up. But look, they actually do have something. Holy shit, Target's got a new movie, The Holdovers. Blu-ray, DVD, digital code there. I heard this was good. Right, so might get that. It's $24.99. The Holdovers, they got it on DVD. They do have Pet Cemetery Bloodlines on Blu-ray. Uh, I'm the first time seeing that in here. They got The Exorcist 4K. Weird. The Al Yankovic Story. Kill room only on Blu-ray. But somebody told me that Target may only stock movies every two weeks now. Um, is that true? Has anybody heard anything? Anybody say anything about that? Dickheads, what sorcery is this? Not really seeing much else. That movie's sick there. I got a review of that on the channel. Not good. It stinks. Oh, what's this up here? I know some people like anime. What's this sticker here? Only at Target. So well, they got some art cards, print cards. So it looks like they got a bunch of different ones. So hey, they do have something new other than the one movie. Yeah, so if you're a fan of anime and you haven't picked those up, you got slip covers. You got some art cards in there. That's kind of cool. What's on a cookie? I'm not seeing much else. See some uh, spray there with somebody smelling something stinky. I see their vinyl section thinned out. Do people really buy that much vinyl over Christmas? I don't know. But either way, I'm going to go back here and check out some toys. This will be a pop culture hunt, but uh, right across from the toys is another little movie section. I just want to see what they had over here. I think it's the same stuff we saw before Christmas. Basically nothing on sale. Nope. And then right over here they got another end cap. So this Target isn't totally getting rid of physical media so glad about that golf clap golf clap everything's pretty much 24 dollars over here it looks like 22 nothing i'm interested in but i will take a look at the toys before i leave see if they got anything like i said this might turn into a pop culture hunt they do got earl sinclair the dinosaurs that's kind of cool Man, that's, that looks just like him. Really nice figure there. I've got the baby. What else is over here? Anything? Nope. Hey, we got a Megan Toonie Terrors figure. That's that's new. That's kind of cool. All of them are damaged, it looks like. So, maybe if they get one later that's not damaged, I might pick it up. I got a bunch of those. I collect that line of figures. Anybody else collect the Toonie Terrors figures? I got that saw set. It's pretty nice. But yeah, those are damaged. But either way. So we're going into the evil layer of Best Buy. I don't know if we're going to find anything. They may have removed all their movies. Has anybody been in your Best Buy? They still have it. So let's go find out. Don't tell me which zone is for stopping and which zone is for loading. Listen, buddy, don't start off with your white zone with shit again. This is a photo. I'm just Joe. This isn't my Best Buy, but look, somebody posted this online that their Best Buy did empty out this week. This one still has a few movies up here at the front. Nothing major. Looks like they're clearing out a lot of them. Why is Gran Turismo or Turismo still regular price? And they've got the same stack as always of those. They're never going to get rid of them. They did restock Oppenheimer and Haunting in Venice. Oh, I see they finally got the man in the iron mask. That's the Shout Select 4K. You know what really grinds my gears? 
I get really irritated with Shout whether they're putting, there's no consistency of when they put slip covers on stuff or not. Thank Godzilla 36, is that really a deal? Damn. That's too fucking high! So, let's go on to the back. Maybe that's, hopefully they still got movies. They still got the little 4K rack here. Not a whole lot on sale on most of this stuff. Was it much better prices around Christmas, obviously. I don't see anything new on this rack. Got Guardians down there. Got Flash. Got Creed 3 on the back side. Got Scream uh, 6 for $13.99. That's a good deal. War of the Worlds for $11.99. That's a really good deal for that 4K. If you can find one with a good slip cover. So, yeah. So, they got a couple good deals as far as price-wise. Let's go around the corner away from the, all these televisions. I guess they're not going to restock anything on that rack. That's where the Christmas stuff was. What about the other side? They got a few titles here. Miss, uh, that's not even the right price. They got that in the wrong spot. The Detective Knight Redemption is only $8.99. That's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. That Mortal Kombat Legends Blind, Snow Blind is on sale. That's a good deal. The Boogeyman for $13.99. That's on sale. Then they got a wall of televisions. So when they get rid of this, the movies in here, are they just going to have a, a, a bigger wall of televisions here? That three-pack of Spy Kids, $11.99. I don't know what the star is. That Magnificent Seven still got the wrong price. No, nah, I was thinking that was 13 There's no way. The Field of Dreams is, so that's a pretty good deal. $13.99. American Gangster, so they got some stuff on sale. Star is Born. Kandahar. I think I was in the wrong spot. Kill a Mockingbird for $13.99. So it's Paramount titles and Universal titles might be what's on sale. That Superman is the regular set. Check out my collections video if you want to look to see what the Amazon exclusive steelbook set, 4K set looked like. I included that in my video. You can see it in the thumbnail. So let's get around here, see what they got. They got a few toys left in here. Who's going to pay $11.99 for that little figure? But then they got these $55 damn dollars. It's a nice looking figure. It reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's. So they got all this Lego shit, just like Target's filling up with vinyl. But then you're going to get rid of your movies. Ridiculous. Not really seeing a whole lot. Universal Monsters. Go around the corner. I'm, just, I'm not going to, I'm just doing a full walk. I'm not doing a lot of editing in here today. Still got JFK here for $43.99. I never picked that up. I think I'll wait on that. I'm not already seeing anything else. They got that uh, Desperation Road for $13.99 and that big ass DVD case. Does anybody know why Lionsgate did some of those? Retribution King of Killers. They released a bunch of that stuff in big cases. This Rosemary's Baby's on sale. Uh, just remember there's a replacement disc. If you want me to post a video about that or explain what it is, I'll let you know. Sold all those Disney steelbooks, Disney 100s for $9.99. Then they put the shelf back to regular price even though they don't have any of them. So Indiana Jones, Temple of Dooms, $13.99. That's a good deal. The Turtles, $11.99. That's a great deal. Quantum Mania Blu-ray, $13.99. Avatar, got a decent sale on those. Donnie Darko's $23 for the 4K. Hackers. I got the Best Buy Steelbook. I think sales for quite a bit. I should probably 
go ahead and sell it. The thing, $13.99. Well, I guess here at the end, that's the best thing you can do is come in here and get some of the sales they got. I think some of the Paramount Fount titles were $13.99, like Trading Places, but I didn't see any of those in here. But look for those online. You might better get it. And then over here at this back section, for Air Force One, $16.99. Black phone, Blu-ray. We got still got Belly. Beetlejuice, $18.99. Evil Dead Rise. Green Mile. That's part of that Amazon sale. You can get that cheaper now. I think it's part of their 3 for 33 sale. Moonfall, eleven ninety nine. That's not bad. got some anime in here but it's better to get it in target you got slip covers and our cards in there the raid collection isn't there a 4k coming out of that renfield i got the 4k steelbook coming maybe i better show you that if it arrives in time i'm skimming fast man i'm really not seeing anything so the shelves are emptying so maybe my store this might be one of the last times i'm in here so give it a good once over so let's look online real quick here's some of the dvds that you're supposed to be able to find the holdovers uh the wedding cottage we saw some of those uh, christmas movies i don't know why christmas shit would be coming out after christmas but yeah the holdovers the marsh uh king's daughter are the two main blu-rays you, you do have uh forest vengeance coming out but nothing major so it doesn't look like we missed out on anything so Let's get home and I'll show you if I actually bought anything. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host as always, Jeff Man 316. Yeah, that's me right there on the sign, Jeff Man 316 Live. We watch movies, do watch alongs, talk movies and pop culture on the weekends during live streams. Usually on uh, Sunday nights, sometimes on Saturdays if we do w it's easy for me to say if we do WWE pay-per-views. Uh, but either way, so yeah, I did pick up a few movies. I had a box coming from Orbit uh, DVD. I've been bragging about them. UPS, for some reason, has my package. It was scheduled to uh, for delivery the day I'm recording this. And for some reason, they're not going to deliver it for two days. I have no clue. Says it was out for delivery all day. And then randomly, they, they didn't deliver it. So I got some Terror Vision. Uh, titles that um, we can uh, that expect to see. Sorry, I thought I dropped something, but either way. So let's see. Um, I actually picked up one movie in stores and a couple online. So what did I get in stores? Can you believe the Target actually had something? I've got the holdovers. Paul Giamatti's in this. I've been wanting to see this. Um, heard good things about it, and Target actually had the Blu-ray. Somebody told me. The Target may not stock new movies every week now, that they may only stock stuff every two weeks. Have you guys heard that? But that's the Blu-ray DVD digital copy of that. So yeah, Target for the win. Can you believe that shit? So the last couple things that I got, what I'm going to show you is I picked up one thing from Orbit DVD that came right after I recorded my last video, and it is Renfield on Steelbook. Um, this is the foreign release. We didn't even get a 4K of Renfield in the U.S. So this is the 4K Steelbook Blu-ray. The Blu-ray would be region coded. The 4K wouldn't. I have a region free player, but I'll be watching the 4K anyway. Um, I don't 100% love the artwork on the Steelbook that's inside of this slipcase. I'll unbox that on the channel and we'll talk about why. So other than that, hey, light week. I didn't pick up anything else as far as me. But I will let you know that um, since I didn't show you a haul, Christmas haul that I had an Amazon wish list and some people picked up some stuff from that with some old catalog titles and maybe like one new one. Um, and my wife got me a movie for Christmas as well. So I thought I'd show that on here because a couple of them are fairly new, including this one. Dumb Money, the GameStop story. I wanted to see that. I didn't really want to pay for it. I think you saw me skip over it in stores. 
But yeah, my wife actually picked up that, that one for me because she knew it was a, a new movie that I hadn't bought for myself. So then as far as from stuff from my Amazon list, um, I didn't think this movie was quite as bad as a lot of people are saying. I thought it was a decent prequel, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. It wasn't anything great, but this is the 4K. And I haven't found anybody that's got the 4K with the slipcover, but the Blu-ray is coming with the slipcover. What the hell gives with that? But yeah, I mean, this is, um, and it even comes with digital. I wasn't expecting it to have the digital code since Paramount Plus debuted this movie. But either way, uh, a movie that you saw me pick up in Walmart, if you watch, if you diligently watch my movie hunts, you saw this, me pick this up in Walmart a couple of times and I never actually bought it to catch a killer. Um, Sh Shalene Woodley, is that how you pronounce her name? Ben uh, Metalson, Metalson. I don't know how to pronounce their names. Who cares? Um, when I was looking at it and picking it up, a couple of you actually chimed in and said it was a good movie and that I should watch it. So I had that on my Amazon wish list, so I got that one. An older comedy that I never picked up, and this is from Olive Films, Sibling Rivalry. It's got uh, Bill Pullman, and obviously Kirstie Alley's the main star. Um, I don't even remember this movie. I saw it so long ago. It also stars Ed O'Neill, Carrie Fisher, Bill Macy. Um, it's got a lot of good people in here. Um, it's Sam Elliott, Scott Bakula. So, yes, yeah, directed by Carl Reiner. So, haven't seen this thing in years. Looking forward to getting, you know, giving that a watch. And this is a movie that I have seen, and a special edition came out. So, uh, it's from Ronin Flicks, um, The Lost. I'm pretty sure this is based on the uh, Jack Ketchum, yes, book. But this is a pretty brutal movie. I was making sure there's no nudity on the back, and there isn't. There's an old Anchor Bay version of this that I think I have. But this is a new version that's got some special features on it. It's a new master of a 4K scan. It's got audio commentary. Uh, what else is on it? archival commentary new enter it's got brand new interviews the director commentary is brand new it's got audition tapes outtakes storyboards original jack and jill short sort short film i can't talk but from 2005 it's about two hours long so yeah this is a pretty brutal movie um so i'm looking forward to revisiting that I haven't watched it in a long time so so hey th these are the times where we need to go out and just pick up, you know, random stuff that we skipped over. Um, but when you have down weeks where there's not a lot coming out. So a short little stack, but quality titles, I would say. What do you think? So, uh, yeah, at least give me an A for effort. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. Uh, watch all my 2003 best of videos that I just posted. Steelbooks, catalog titles, um, and collection videos. Um, and then watch the Jeffy Awards coming up sometime this week. I'm in the middle of shooting it and editing it. Uh, there were people that promised me videos who never gave me videos. A little disappointing in that, but a lot of people did. So I don't want those people to think that I neglected them. I really do appreciate anybody that helps me out. Um, I love you guys. And so until next time, boys and girls, this has been Jeff Man 316 I'm your Pop Culture Boy, and I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Poontang your ass on out of here. No!